customizing the ribbon. The ribbon is here and it has many panels to use. All the commands are grouped together. While another way to use the commands is to not have the ribbon at all. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. One way is to change the workspace. As you can see, I have some other settings that you may not have here. I'll go ahead and select AutoCAD Classic. And now the ribbon's gone and replaced with more of a toolbar fill. We also have a palette here. Let's go ahead and drag this over and we'll close it for now because we'll get into this in a later tutorial. So don't get too overwhelmed just yet. And now these are all the toolbars that we had in the panel before when it was a ribbon. Here's the draw, hovering over this one. Here's the standard toolbar, hovering over this one. We have a styles toolbar, and so forth. A properties, as well as a modify. You can go ahead and drag these out, place them where you'd like, because this may be more convenient for you if you're used to toolbars instead of a ribbon. Let's say this is where you want them to stay placed, but sometimes you frequently come to grab a tool, a command, and you accidentally move it around. That can be very bothersome. Let me go ahead and try and drag these back. We can always dock them to the left, to the right, or even on top. But for instance, if you actually want them within your drawing space and you don't want them to move, you can come down here to the bottom right to the toolbar slash window positions unlocked. We can lock everything or we can lock specific items like floating toolbars and panels, docked toolbars and panels, floating windows, or even docked windows. So let's go ahead and try and drag these now. As you can see, I cannot do it. Let's go ahead and change our workspace because maybe we do like the ribbon. Once we do that, the two bars are gone. You can go ahead and clear this palette here by clicking the top left corner. Well, there you go. Here's the ribbon. But what if you do like toolbars and you like the ribbon? Well, we can go to View. We can go to User Interface, Toolbars, AutoCAD, and then we can select from any of these. For example, Draw, which is the same as the Draw from the Home tab. This can be convenient for you, and as you can see right now, I can't drag it out. So let's come back down here to the bottom right corner. I'll go to All, and I will undock. Now I can drag it around. So this way I can be in the annotate, and I can have my draw toolbar right at ease. No need of clicking on Tab, clicking on Line. All I need to do is, if I'm in the annotate, simply come down here, and I have my Line command as well as all the other commands from the line panel. Go ahead and try customizing the ribbon to your needs. You can always save workspaces, which we'll cover in another tutorial, but you can play with it yourself to see how it works. You can modify your panels a little bit by dragging them around. You can go to View, User, Toolbars, AutoCAD, and then add some more toolbars to your view. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the draw remove it from the screen. Go back to home and there you go.